हेलो स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गडा केसेस फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला स्टूडेंट वी आर लर्निंग द फाइनल इयर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज द सोलर एंड वाइड एनर्जी फ्रॉम दिस सब्जेक्ट अप टू द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द टोटल फोर यूनिट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी ऑल्सो हैव सीन सम टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम द यूनिट नंबर फाइव दैट इज द वाइंड एनर्जी सो लेट सी विच पॉइंट्स वी हैव सीन द बेसिक्स ऑफ वाइंड एनर्जी दैट वी हैव सीन दैट मीन्स ऑल द टाइप्स ऑफ वाइंड मिल्स एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ द वाइंड एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द मैकेनिकल और इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी देन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वाइंड एनर्जी कन्वर्सेशन ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन now in the today's lecture we are going to see the next point that is the basic components of wind energy conversion system so related to the wind energy conversion system we are going to see all the components involved in the wind energy conversion system so principle of wind energy conversion that we have seen now we are going to see the components of wind energy conversion system so let's see here i have shown you one diagram related to the wind energy conversion system so if you are able to see here the rotor blade is given so three rotor blades generally used for the wind power plant okay then hub is given tower is given then below the tower there will be the transformer now in the transformer unit there will be the generator also brakes also high shaft speed gear box rotor hub brakes that all the components are involved in the wind energy conversion system that means that system consists of multiple points or multiple components and in the today's lecture we have to see that all the components in the details so we are going to without wasting the time we are going to see all the components in the details means wind energy conversion system we have to study thoroughly the following block diagram you can see that this block diagram explains each and every component of wind energy conversion system the first component is aero turbine the wind strikes on this component after that there is gearing after gearing there is coupling and after coupling there is generator which generates electricity there is another one component that is controller which controls different parameters in this system like yaw control pitch control speed control and control signals from generator so we'll study every component step by step now the first component is aero turbine we all know the aero turbine is consisting of hub on which number of blades are mounted its main function is to convert wind energy into rotary motion the next component is gearing it's a gearbox which increases the speed of turbine shaft because we have to increase the speed as we seen in previous presentation that power is directly proportional to v cube that is cube of velocity therefore we are using gearbox to increase the speed of turbine shaft next component is coupling coupling as we know there are different types of coupling the suitable coupling is used to connect gear shaft to the generator shaft so that the speed and torque of gear shaft will be transmitted to generator shaft now the component is generator we all know generator is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy the basic principle was the rotating shaft will cut the magnetic lines of force and the power will be produced by generator 
the last component is controller which may perform the following functions the first function is orientation of rotor with wind that is nothing but yaw control means its function is to orient the rotor in the direction perpendicular to the wind direction so that maximum power of wind can be utilized so yaw control is nothing but the orientation of rotor in the direction of wind second one is start up and cut off equipment sometimes in emergency we have to cut down the system or to start up the system we can use the controller next one is power control of rotor by varying pitch of blade now pitch of blade means angle made by blade with the plane of rotation as pitch is vary we can vary the rotational speed of the blade as pitch affects the force acting on the blade next is generator output data computation and data storage so controller's function is to store the data compute the data and take the output from the generator controller also shut down the system at very high speed to make sure that system will not be damaged and during maintenance of the wind turbine system the controller plays very important role now it's time to solve the queries of previous slide most of the student ask me what is interception area so consider radius r of the blade then if blade rotates in 360 degree then it will form a circle of radius r or diameter d so area will be pi r square or in terms of diameter it will be pi by 4 d square therefore if we want to increase the swept area or interception area we must increase the radius of the blade 